Dostoevsky's book, Notes from the Underground, is about a wicked, spiteful, horrible man who does horrible things. He examines just how corrupt and selfish he is. And in the midst of all this examining, he finds enjoyment in his suffering. One day he meets this lady who he really, really likes. And he wants to help her out. He wants to take her off the streets and into his home to help her, you know, become a better person. However, he's only doing this for his reasons. He's not doing this for her. He's not doing this to help her get off the streets. He's doing this because he's narcissistic and he only cares about himself. He is her last hope. Without the underground man, this lady is nothing. She's going to go back to being the horrible person she was. So finally, when she goes and visits him, searching for hope and goodness, all she finds is a narcissistic man who finds enjoyment in her suffering. To humiliate her, to beat her down, he did this out of pure spite and hatred. He did this because why not? He did it for the gits and shiggles. One of the things I want to explore a lot on this video is help and how we try to help each other, help our friends, help our fellow humans. Just like the underground man, sometimes we want to help each other for our own reasons. Even if it doesn't seem like this, sometimes we actually do help each other for our own reasons. We're all egotistical and narcissistic in our own ways. And all of this is most expressed when we try and help other people. So I'll be showing you the two ways that we usually try to help each other and we try to bring each other down or lift each other up for our own reasons, as well as maybe what you can do about this. So I have a friend, we'll call him Johnny. This guy's a daily party goer, drinks, smokes, whatever, you name it. He, I personally would never hang out with anyone who does all of this. And yet I love being around him. He's a funny guy. He gives me excitement in my life. But I don't know if in 10 or 20 years, he's going to come out just another another homeless person. Because of this, I always just have this cycle of, oh, I'm going to leave this friend group. I'm not going to hang out with this person ever again. But next thing you know, I just come straight back to Johnny and hang out with him like it never even happened. I have this deep, deep desire to cure him, to help him stop drinking and smoking, to help him stop being a degenerate. But why? I always question it. But is it maybe because I really care for this person? Is it maybe because I care for his health? Because he's my friend? Well, I found the reason in this book. So yeah, most of this is gonna be based off of Jordan B. Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. I recommend you check out the book if you haven't. So the helper is the person who's on top. He's a person that has more authority. The one that wants to help the person who's drinking and smoking. You've probably had a situation where you want to help someone who's drinking or smoking. You wanna give, a homeless dude a dollar. You wanna pick a dog off the street and help him out, cure him, bring him back to health. I will admit, I've had situations like this where I wanna help somebody, buy some kid on the street new clothes or something like that. But we have to question ourselves, why do we wanna help these people who are less fortunate? So let's talk about the flaws of the helper. One of the biggest things that Jordan Peterson actually noted in his book is that maybe we wanna help others because we're simply narcissistic. Just like the underground man, how he's narcissistic and wants to help her for his own reasons. We're just so narcissistic deep down to the point that we don't even notice and we wanna help others for our own causes. This can be for like an actual cause or it can even be something just egotistical that you wanna help out this person because others around you will see you that you're helping this person and it'll boost your ego and your status. You want to show others that you have balls to help the lowly. Maybe you're not even trying to prove that to other people. And maybe you're trying to prove that to yourself. You want to prove to yourself that you're a good human being simply by helping someone lower than you. I'm not gonna lie, it really does just boost your ego when you give someone else a dollar, give someone else like 10 bucks, some random hobo on the street that's like asking for money. You give them like a meal, they smile, they say, God bless you. Huh? And there goes your ego. Maybe you want to be a diamond in the rough. You want to stand out among the lonely. You want to be the person who's off drugs in a homeless camp the one with $100 in a homeless shelter. You wanna feed your ego by being with this lowly person and comparing yourself to this person. You want to solve something truly extraordinary and show it to the world instead of doing something that's truly difficult, that brings tangible results. Helpers want nothing to do with this lonely person except for their own purpose, to feed their own ego. I stood out when I hanged out with him because I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, I, I didn't do any of that. And because of that, I was more honorable. I was a better person than him. And my ego went all the way to the roof. Part two, the damned. Damned are the lowly. 
those who want the help, those who need the help. Sometimes these people just don't need help actually. And maybe just want help for the exact same reason you want to help. If you're trying to help someone from the lower class, they like homeless and on the streets. When you're helping them, haven't they already accepted the fact that they're lower class? That they're never ever gonna be rich? That they don't want to improve? Maybe they don't want your help in getting off drugs and simply just want your help by you giving them money to buy more drugs. They've already accepted the fact that they're gonna stay lower class. Relating to my story, maybe the low they want to grab you by the foot and drag you down to their level. It sucks to see people rising above you, making progress when you aren't. And one of the best ways I will admit to soothe that loneliness and that suffering is to bring them down to, with you. It's harder to go down than up. And because of that, it's so much easier for these people for you to drag them down than it is for you to go up to their level. The way that the lowly actually bring you down is by rubbing salt in your wounds. They'll bring up past mistakes, past things you've done, horrible things that you've done before. They'll bring them back up and tell you about them. You're reminded of the horrible things you've done. We as humans have seen help as the standard, as something so great, the greatest thing ever that could ever be done. And helping is really easy. All you have to do is give someone else something, whether that be money, knowledge, our wisdom. It's so easy. It's super easy to receive help too. You just have to receive something from someone higher than you. So it's so much easier to receive help, to give help, and to stay exactly where you are than it is to seek success, which is unknown and complicated. Most of the time, the damned, the lonely, are gonna stay that way. And they don't want your help because they need it, but because they want to drag you down to their level to ease themselves. Part three, you've signed the contract. Maybe the helpers and the damned team up to create a cesspool of filth and disgust to stay at the same level, never progress ever again. Maybe just like the underground man, they enjoy their suffering and their degradation. You've both signed the contract saying that you're gonna stay at the exact same level, that it's easier to hang out with someone lower than them other than finding higher quality friends who want the best for you. You both agree to do dumb shit together, to hang out within this cesspool of filth, and to take the easier path and to never, ever, ever call each other out on each other's mistakes, on the disgusting things each person does, to indulge and to stay that way. You know exactly what's happening within this contract. You all do, everybody does, who's already signed this contract, but nobody does anything about it. You want to avoid reality. This is the help most people seek. This might have been the help I sought. Maybe this is why I wanted to hang out with Johnny because it's so much easier to hang out with people like him, someone lower than me, someone who's drinking and smoking, than it is to find someone higher than me and try and be like them. So how do we stop this degeneracy? How do we stop this quote unquote help? How do we stop signing that contract? How do we rip it up? We surround ourselves with others who aim upward and support your aim upward too without bringing you down like a crab in a bucket. They don't claw at you as you're trying to escape that fisherman's bucket. It takes strength and balls and guts to hang out with people who are willing to grow and progress alongside you and see you succeed because they genuinely care about you. So now it's your turn to make the choice. Are you gonna keep hanging with your loser friends, making easy decisions, stay within the contract, stoop down to their level, or break the chains and be free? That's it. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, um, do all that algorithm stuff. Thank you.